Today, Kevin and Andrew and I are going to be trying some Pasture Pride. This is Justo. I'm assuming I'm a, a saying the name correctly. Justo, Gusto. We, we've never seen this brand before. We've never seen a commercial either. So if you haven't ever heard the name, I tried to look up some information. I, I couldn't find uh, the pronunciation um, on the internet. Uh, these were $6.99 each at Jungle Gems International Market. We have the traditional with bacon crumbles, with garlic, and with Italian spices. So it says, Justo is a buttery flavored flat and squeaky cheese made in Scandinavia for over 200 years called Justo Palia or Ostbrod, meaning bread cheese. We bake each piece in our own special ovens to create a delicious toasty crust. Who would have guessed that the blending of Italian and Scandinavian flavors could be so good? So this one says Italian. This one's going to, I'm sure, say garlic. Uh, but you can see how much, how many Italian spices there are on the side. So we, what we are going to do, you can uh, cook these in different ways. You can warm them. They're meant to be warmed. So you can either put them in the microwave or you can heat them um, you can heat them in your stove, uh, in the oven. You can cook them on a gas grill. Uh, we are going to heat them in a frying pan on the stove top. Uh, so we're going to get them open. in the pan if you're going to do it in the skillet and you cook it you basically fry it four minutes per side so kevin has fried them for four minutes on one side just and and then he's flipped it over and, and they get kind of tender um on the softer side so you can tell when they're heated, heated up a little bit okay we uh these are from uh Cashton, Cashton, Wisconsin, and Andrew, get you a bite. Andrew, we, we have reviewed, or this long one here, and uh, we have reviewed this kind of cheese before where you put it in the skillet and you heat it up. Nice. To my knowledge, Andrew has never had this kind of cheese, right? I've never. No. So, like, we feel like, uh, before we started this it's channel... This, we're, one. this one because oh, we're that's, that's a, no, no no this one, one this is the traditional so until we <laughs> oh. yeah Andrew's going for the book until we started this channel we had never had cheese like this before and in a lot of places this is done all the time so Andrew growing up he has no idea uh, what he's in for um, this is one ounce 28 grams uh, is 110 calories, so this has six servings, so this is 660 calories for the entire block. You could eat the entire block for 660 calories. Mm. Okay, so this is just the traditional. That's good. So before I give my opinion, mm -hmm. um, I make haystacks all the time. This cheese baked. What is a haystack? You take shredded cheese and you make little haystacks and then you melt them. No. It turns into crisps. Oh, and you put okay. Some, you put some uh, salt on it. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That just tastes like a mozzarella cheese. Stick. It's basically that the pl the traditional is like one just, of those sticks. Yeah, it's basically it's just a mozzarella cheese stick, stick but it's heated up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is exactly what I thought it would be. I think it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, it good. so let's move on to the next one. The next one is the same thing, but with bacon crumbles. So this one is, believe it or not, this says it has fewer calories. Huh. And this would only be 600 calories for the whole thing. Immediately. You get the bacon? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's good and smoky. And that's not an artificial bacon. That's mm -hmm. a good bacon. That's that's actual bacon. That is actual straight-up bacon. Mm-hmm. That's good. It has that's, a smokiness to it. That mm -hmm. one's six times better than the first one. Yeah, the first one's very plain. Very, but if you don't like the... Very plain. If you don't like all that flavoring and stuff, it's very, very plain. I like it quite a bit, mm -hmm. but I do like it with the bacon. It does add that smoky mm -hmm. flavor, but honestly, 
I would just as easily be happy with the plain. I'd be good with plain too. Uh, this one's this brand is not as salty as some of the other brands we've had. Right. The so, next one we're taking the bacon out and putting garlic. Garlic, yeah. <laughs> the next one is garlic, and it is 600 calories again. And this one smelled really garlicky. Immediately. Well. Hmm. Are you a garlic person? I eat cloves. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to eat a clove of garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that one better than the bacon. I'm odd. I'll eat a garlic clove. I'll take a bite out of an onion like it's an apple. Will you really? Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. That's phenomenal. And they yeah, call this. Let me, really let me tell you though, if you don't like garlic, you don't do it. No. <laughs> if you're a vampire, <laughs> because this. Yeah, they, if you're a vampire, you're going to kill over them. They call the squeaky cheese, and it does squeak. And when it's between your teeth, it kind of makes a squeaky noise. Uh, so this one, the last one, this is the one I'm most excited for because it has all these spices. This is Italian spices. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at it inside. And Let's do it clean. this one is back to the original calories. This is going to be 660 for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, look at it that color. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Hmm. I would have sworn that really went for that oregano. Yeah, and it's got a lot of basil too. Um, mm -hmm. I would have sworn it had rosemary in it, but it doesn't. That one, I don't like it much. That one's my that least. One's, that one's okay. And that's my least. And it's so funny because that one is the one that got me to buy all four. <laughs> was um, the item? Uh -huh. Honestly, I'll take it over the first one. Because it has some flavor. It's just those. plain. Yeah. It's so plain, it just tastes like eating one of those cheap cheese sticks. Yeah. This is literally squeaky when you. <laughs> the, I think the garlic is my favorite too. You, uh, is the garlic your favorite? Mm -hmm. okay. I think it is mine too. Bacon's real close second. The bacon's right there too. This, we've had some other brands. That the plain actually tasted better because it had a little bit of a saltiness to it. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't really have the salty, so it's just kind of, it's just kind of plain. Like like Andrew said, it's kind of like those cheese sticks, you, the string cheese. It's almost right. like that kind of flavor. Yeah. Um, is this something that you could see yourself buying and doing at your house? Just pa put in a pan or a microwave. Well, you can microwave them too. It because uh, it doesn't take no time. It's four minutes on each side. It's not bad. On a what kind of heat? Just uh, uh chefs medium. never medium. tell what heat they're using, and that's uh, people will screw up a meal. It was like medium time. high heat. Mm -hmm. It was probably medium high heat, and um, you know the, the, about the same, t a little higher than you would do a grilled cheese sandwich, because you make plenty of those. I know. Mm -hmm. um, I am the oddball here. I am going to say that the Italian's my last place, yeah. so I agree with them completely. But I do like just the traditional. Um, it's I, better. I like it better than the Italian. I I, I really do like the traditional. Um, we have had another brand, to be fair, that I liked better, mm -hmm. but I do like these. I like I, these too. Mm -hmm, these these are nice. So if you you know, I'm sure there's lots of brands out there, mm -hmm. uh, and if we find more, we'll give them a try. But what's What's funny about these is they're already browned a little bit out of the package. Uh -huh. The other brand wasn't. It was no, just, not at it all. It was just regular cheese, no. basically. It wasn't already browned. So yeah. So any final thoughts? Good cheese. Good cheese. It's good cheese. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.